I think as many people know, uh, including the folks here at Smollett Farms, I've been here several times myself. My wife's been here a number of times as well. The Commonwealth has been experiencing abnormally dry conditions for the better part of the past five or six months due to low precipitation and groundwater levels coming on the heels of what I think we would all agree is a relatively mild winter. There are steps we encourage everyone to take to help conserve water resources and keep you and your neighborhood safe. First, it's important that everyone check with your city and town to be sure you're aware of any locally imposed water restrictions because they will vary for different areas. And please try to remember to minimize your water usage both inside and outside your home. You can eliminate or limit watering your lawns, eliminate or limit washing your car, covering a swimming pool to prevent evaporative loss and the need to fill it further sweeping outdoor patios and driveways rather than using a hose to clean those areas, reducing shower times to five minutes or less, turn faucets off when brushing your teeth or shaving, fix water leaks and household items, and only wash full loads of laundry and dishes. The extended forecast continues to look dry, and the drought, manage ta drought management task force will continue to meet on a regular basis to more closely assess conditions across the state, coordinate dissemination of information to the public, and help state, federal, and local agencies prepare any responses that may be needed in the future. Our agencies are ready to respond to the public and should be contacted if anything is needed. Public safety and security. The Massachusetts Emergency Management Agency is coordinating with state agencies and with cities and towns to ensure that the state is prepared to support and meet all local needs in the event that drought conditions worsen. Uh, we have not yet reached the point where demand for water exceeds supply in significant ways, but we are doing worst case scenario planning and developing the capacity to provide large quantities, large volumes of bottled water to multiple communities and to provide tankers of potable water, if necessary, to replenish municipal tanks and to assist farms and other large volume private water sectors private sector water users. Uh, all of us know the importance of farming here in Massachusetts um, in terms of our food supply. Um, I have the pleasure of working with farmers and, and other industries around the Commonwealth and thinking about how farms uh, interact in our economy. Uh, while we are uh, always celebrating life sciences and we're always out celebrating uh, innovation, uh, we too have a special place in our heart for what happens in places like this, in smaller farms, and uh, the importance that farming has, not only in the Commonwealth, but in each of the individual communities of the Commonwealth. Uh, so at the governor's direction, uh, with Nam Farm, uh, we have approached uh, Mass Growth Capital and we'll make uh, loans available uh, to those farms uh, that need help as a bridge to a point in time where we may be asking the federal government uh, to step in with resources. Um, I'd also want to remind people at this time how important it is to buy local and to support your farmers, especially during this time, as the high temperatures have also impacted turnout at local farmers markets and farm stands. Massachusetts has been and has continues to be one of the most uh, significant states in the country, not on a per capita basis, but on a per dollar basis, in terms of the amount of stuff that we buy direct from farms, direct to consumer here in the Commonwealth. And we should all remember that as we go through the process of making our decisions about where to buy and what to buy over the course of the next several months.